I'm Melissa, your Free Range Psychic. Today is Sunday, September the 11th, and what a week it's been. So much is continuing to happen, and of course we want to give a, a sad farewell to the Queen of England who passed. That last picture was the double rainbow that uh, sprang up over Balmoral. I think it was actually at the time of her passing. Today I'm going to do a tarot reading on the fate of the MAGA. And this is a guided reading, meaning I ask my guides to choose the cards and also tell me why they've chosen them. And then I let you know what they, they tell me. And then we're going to have a reading from the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck. The tarot cards are from the Gilded Tarot uh, by Cyril Marchetti. And I have neglected to say this, I think, except maybe in the last few videos. But if, if I didn't, I apologize. But you can get them under the name of the Easy Tarot. And for some reason, the uh, kit that was put together, I don't even think it's under the name of Sarah Marchetti, but the, these cards are in that kit, easily uh, gotten. It includes the cards and then a, a book. Okay, I'm doing a Celtic cross uh, spread for this, and the card that my guides gave me that represent MAGA, the group, <laughs> the moon. So this is a cult. This is a, 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 a group of people under a delusion. These are people who are not tethered to reality or the truth. And there's a crossing card to this, so crossed by the magician. So the magician are the MAGA leaders like Trump or Marjorie Taylor Greene or Jim Jordan, uh, Ginny Thomas, whomever. And they're the leaders of the cult, the magicians who create the uh, illusion, the lie, the mesmerism, if you if you will, the brainwashing that creates the cult. And that includes people like Lauren Boebert, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Anybody who is perceived as a, a power force in MAGA. Yeah, Mike Lindell, uh, Trump, of course. Um, so many of them, uh, uh, um, Gomer, you know who I'm talking about. The, 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 they're using the magician, the dark magician energy. And, you know, Mar Marguerite Taylor Green is prime example. Above, my guides gave me the Five of Wands. So this is infighting within MAGA. So what I ask my guys about this day and I believe is this is division within uh, the Make America Great Again group <laughs> uh, because um, and this is actually also because of this really via Fox and Rupert Murdoch and others who perceive that Ron DeSantis is now going to be the new leader. So th th it's a creating division, um, people who were once all uh, together in one mind regarding their worship of Trump and Trumpism. Some are actually splintering off to now uh, focus on and, and start uh, paying allegiance to Ron DeSantis. And this is what the intent is for, uh, oh yeah, this would be Fox News too, um, and Rupert Murdoch, to, because they, Rupert Murdoch no longer uh, sees Trump as feasible and wants to keep the Trumpism going, but through another leader. So there's fighting here, confusion. I think there's almost like a visceral sense of uh, the energy being lost, being drained away, the momentum is, is, is going, going, gone. And so MAGA is kind of falling apart. 
it's it's like a something that weakens on the exterior and then goes deeper, deeper, deeper within till it's it's dissipating, and and this is the the root cause of that. In the past, this is MAGA as the army of uh, Trump and Trumpism. This is the insur them in the insurrection, their involvement, uh, their involvement in the trucker <laughs> um, strikes and the uh, anti-vaxxer uh, protests, getting involved in, always in, in a divisive uh, way, causing uh, all kinds of uh, drama and obstruction in the school boards and you know, local politics and also uh, in uh, their families and they, they come with this energy and it's always on the attack they're attacking the authorities they have they're the victims and they are going to fight back to take the rights there always has to be something that they're angry about uh, something that they hate also you know they're the racism um, the bigotry the um, uh, mis misogyny the hatred towards trans people etc this is the fuel this is what lights the MAGA uh, wick you know that, that this this is what uh, propels them and I, I and also also against others but you know unifies them towards their leaders and of course that is a, a, a classic cult move to utilize your followers as your army you know they'll go to the deaths for you this uh, but, but it gives them this momentum this this focus this cause underneath my guides gave me this card which is the nine of swords so this is uh the maga leaders uh, oh including you know tucker carlson and sean hannity um, ben Shapiro uh, to make them scared there's always something that they're, they've got to be frightened about oh they're going to take away your freedoms they're going to take away your guns they're going to make your children wear masks <laughs> uh, uh, oh you know masks are horrible because you can't breathe etc you know like just ridiculous things to the point where you drive uh, not driven but that, that they're get more and more vulnerable to the QAnon lies uh, that uh, you know Trump really you know the big lie Trump is really still president Trump is actually Biden and Biden is <laughs> somewhere else and and JFK is going to be president again etc this is from fear this uh, you then and, and another classic cult uh, tactic is to terrify their leaders and also make them dependent on uh, I mean, not to ter terrify their followers and, and make them dependent on their leaders to, you know, to protect them, show them the way. But and they're all terrified. They all want to hide in their panic rooms. They all think that uh, they're, uh, everything that they're doing is uh, they're projecting onto others. So they, you know, have this energy to attack others and harm others because they think they're being attacked. They're, they're just absolutely terrified. In the future, my guides gave me the Seven of Swords, and this, so this is continued grifting. They're gonna, uh, the, the MAGA leaders are gonna continue using this fear to to get the <laughs> the MAGAs to continue to donate uh, money that is not used for the cause, obviously, for, for the most part. <laughs> that they, they think they're giving it to but it's going into pockets and like she, Steve Bannon you know <laughs> and now uh, finally gonna face justice for real regarding stealing money f from the magas for the wall <laughs> and this this is it's just one big grift from criminals that you know, took over uh, the government for a while, the, 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 the foxes in the hen house. The clarifying card is the devil. This is Trump. This is the MAGA leaders, Marjorie Taylor Greene, etc. This They're co coming from this place of evil, chaos agents, 
disruptors of, of harmony of, of the social order for their own benefit. So what is the fate of the Magas? Death. The guides gave me this card and what they said about this card was that this is the end of the Magas. This is the end of this cult. And it's like the, um, I think I, I, I said this before, like, like somehow the energy is being drained away. You know, Trump is becoming less and less powerful as he gets more and more drained himself by all these court cases coming up and the potential of him facing uh, prison time. Again, I, I like Linda, I, I, G, I, I haven't seen him in prison, but he could be imprisoned at his home or uh, there's going to be a, a, a lot of, uh, even though maybe he evades some things, he's, there's going to be a lot of things he's actually found guilty for. He's going to have to continue grifting <laughs> to pay for his lawyers, and he has less and less lawyers that want to touch him. And so you have the 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 end of the the maga because. They need to be fueled with fear <laughs> to exist as they do. And the focus is going to be turning away from that more and more as uh, reality sets in and uh, the Justice Department and, you know, the, uh, the states and his crime, his crime catches up with him and the other MAGA leaders, too, which it, it, it seems to be doing. And I had seen this before. I think I, I said in another video that Merrick Garland, the way that he worked was you start at the periphery and then you go uh, deeper, deeper in. Another spiral reference. <laughs> and uh, that's how you, you you catch it, the whole group, not just disparate individuals, but, you know, you throw a big net to take down a crime network. And what happens uh, my guide show me they kind of the, the, the magas themselves dissipate and it's almost like I don't really know if they wake up from the spell but they move on to something else they're, they're no longer in this um, this uh, I want to say fever or uh, you know intense identification and uh, worship that 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 goes away, except probably for some diehard <laughs> people who really, 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 you know, won't won't give up the fight on their uh, own little isolated MAGA islands, <laughs> thinking that the war is still going on. But but there's fewer and fewer of them. How sad and how pathetic! What a waste! And how much damage was done! And a lesson to be learned, surely, or many, regarding the, uh, this circumstance, which, you know, happened during World War II with the Nazis and uh, the fascists around the world, you know, led by Putin and other fascist leaders, are still trying to uh, create, because it gives, you know, power to their movement. And just look at how successful they were with Brexit using the same tactics, which I think Brexit was a, a dry run before they you know, did their coup thing here. And my belief is that there was already a coup. We had a coup in 2016. And what was thwarted was the continuation of and the solidification of that coup in 2020. Okay, uh, so that is my reading on the fate of the Maka. There's so much else to read on, I know, uh, but what has what hasn't that been true since Trump took office? So, you guys, I'm gonna give us our oracle card, and I think this is a great one for now because I believe it's Mercury retrograde. I've been having a lot of Mercury uh, retrograde issues, and this card is 
brilliant for me. I hope it, uh, well, I don't want you to be frustrated, but if any of you are, I hope it help, is helpful for you. It's called, Do Not Be Frustrated. <laughs> Let go and feel peaceful. And in these Sufi wisdom oracle cards, there's always a Sufi poem, and this is the Sufi poem. Oh, Hafiz, don't be so troubled by the winds of fall in the meadow of life. Come to your senses. Where is the rose without the thorn? <laughs> Hyphus. Feeling unusually frustrated and irritable is an indication that you are burnt out. Your body may be overwhelmed from life stresses and you may, may be missing love and excitement in your life. Or you may have too much excitement in your life. I'm gonna, I'm adding that. Um, Hafiz refers to this state as the winds of fall in the meadow of life. This is when we are tempted to run away from others and hide in our own bubble. We forget about the physical, social, and spiritual resources available to us. Hafiz comes as the oracle to help you recognize there will never be a time when life is simple. You will find peace of mind only when you accept there is no need to yearn, envy, and grab for what you want. Every moment is a chance to simply let go and feel composed and peaceful. Let that be your centering reward. Beloved, your soul surrounded by lovers who move beyond time. There's an ability within you to live more exuberantly than you could ever imagine. If you are experiencing confusion in your life or feel that things are not going your way, this Sufi wisdom reminds you that it is time for some adjustment. Surrender to the flow that is guiding you away from what seems to be your comfort zone. Allow yourself to become more aligned with your inner spiritual growth. Above all, make time for more leisure and relaxation. Have a little fun, explore nature, meet new people, and be open to new experiences. Mantra, I am letting go of what disturbs me and causes me pain. I am determined to overcome the challenges that leave me feeling stuck, frustrated, and hopeless. I will be more open to my heart and to experiencing the joy of life. So do not be frustrated. Okay, you guys, I love you. You guys take care. I will be back next Sunday. Until then, be peaceful, be joyful. I love you. Bye-bye.